Okay, so what is going down? Tell me. Um, what happened? Too hard, so we had to get some work. You gotta speak up really loud because you got that I helmet. I drive too hard. Yeah. So I had to get some shop work done on this car. Yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about it? Feel good. Yeah. And I look cool, right? You look way cool. Oh, snow in a clip right here. This is how good you look. Yeah. This is when it. Squeeze it with your fingers. Oh yeah. So it's gonna get true dual rates and a divide and crossovers. Yes, sir. I'm packing my bag because I'm driving. Um, and I'm getting ready. To You're go doing what? Packing my bag. Well, I'm gonna go drive. So we got Scott. Us. We got Dean behind us. We got Texas behind us. We got the cranes behind us. We got five. We're all behind us. That's five. And then there's six. That's seven. Okay, so seven of us. Okay, so we're back over to MTS. Mr. Russ is here. That's one piece all the way through. So you can, I could feel it the first time I drove it up in the mountains. I mean, it was just, I'm like, okay, you know, it's the cheaper one with the cheaper shocks, whatever. You're going around the corners, just planted. Yeah, yeah. That's and it's only like. 64 inches wide. So, I mean, right now it's setting about 73 because we got paddle, you know, the adapters. Awesome. These yeah. are Can Am wheels with adapters. So yeah. we got an inch there and then a little offset. These are not going to stay. These were our temporary last oh. season at the end of the season when we blew up our our scats, but yeah. for oh, the other car. It's but it's yeah. A little car. Yeah. It's, it's, it's exciting. They're interesting. It's a different. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of an in between Turbo S and the and the uh, X3. I think, my yeah, I, I, I like it's right in between those two. Yeah, they definitely. Show, I mean, look how much they copied. You know down to yeah. little stuff yeah. like this you know i mean just all the way through and and the layout the seats i love the seats for stock seats uh, uh -huh. i just like i don't know i drove it i love razors we started in a razor you know 1000 yeah and i loved it but you know then we did the x3 with a bunch of power and a bunch of shock tuning and i'm you know, like well well yeah. and i've driven turbo s turbo s cars uh -huh. and it's not i love them but I know I just grew to love the X3. It's yeah. just kind of my thing, you know. Yeah. But this car, like you said, is kind of a it's kind of a cross. It feels like it's right in between the two. It's yeah, it's the wheelbase. Position, your wheelbase. Your, yeah, it's in you know, between. Yeah. Everything about it, 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 it combines kind of the best of both. I think. I do too. I, I like it. It's a little, probably a little more nimble than yeah. the X3 because it's you know it's a little smaller. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't sit up so high like the Turbo S, and it's yeah. Inside, in the in the deep dark dungeon of the MTS world, right? Put, putting a, a very comfortable stack together for you, my friend. Nice. And uh, and Ned's driven the car. I mean, he put some seat time on it just now. I feel like yeah, that was a decent ride too. It was fun. I really uh, liked how the car handled. Um, it's got a good attitude. It's interesting. It's a feels like uh, a Can Am and a Turbo S had a baby. Right, right, right. That's exactly what it feels like. And it's uh, a rock solid car. It is. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see if we can take the comfort duty level. Yeah. Balance it. Be able to get it to run up and down the highway real easy. Yeah. We're gonna lift the car up a little bit. Yeah. It's gonna have more ground clearance. Yeah. It's gonna handle better. It's going to be more in control. It loses a little bit of control when the back end comes off yeah. the ground and tries to come up to the front end. The chop is amongst one of the worst I've ever experienced. Pretty choppy. The low speed is doing bad. Well, so when I told you before the chop felt good, then I realized I had it on zero control. So we had it on firm when I drove it? Yes. Okay. It was 100% firm. Makes sense. Uh, I have driven it uh, both about midways, 100% firm. Yeah. And but so. And you've been out riding with us, and uh, the only way that car is going to survive on a ride is 100%. Yeah. You're going to need a lot of uh, adjustment. You're going to need a lot of compression on your knobs. Yeah. And uh, we'll go out there and rip it around. Yeah, zero on that car will not make it through a ride. It, I, I hurt my back the first little ride out. That's I, cool. I panned it once, 
when it was all the way firm. And I was, I was just testing things I normally wouldn't drive that way, but I just wanted to see what the limits were on stock. Yeah. But you found bottom. In my normal driving, I wouldn't have done what I did. Yeah. So, but cool car, very capable. It's a what do we call that? A Turbo S and a Can Am had a baby with it. Yeah. I mean, look at the seats. Turbo Am. Is that what we call it? It's All right. So this is awesome. the inside of your shop right here. Let's take a look. This is it. All right. It's that simple. We wow. Got Pretty basic, huh? Yeah, that's it. The shim stack and a piston. It's in rebound compression. That's it. So we got a, we got a new uh, Eibach dual rate that we're throwing on it. Because uh, currently it's actually just what a, a, a tender spring and a big It's a spring. very weak tender spring. I'd be surprised. Yeah, kind of like. I said it's probably 100 weight. 100, it's kind of like back in the day with the um, 1000s, right? Oh, yeah, it's collapsed. Where it would just smash. It's not, it's not doing anything for you right now. So yeah. we're going to run a, you know, a lot taller springs as well. Okay. And uh, we'll get this thing dialed in and go out. And what we do here at MTS is we really tailor fit the car to how you drive. Sure. We're going to go out, we're going to follow, we're going to watch how Darren and Brandy drive and make the adjustments according to their driving style. All right. And uh, yeah, we just we, we tailor fit the car to you. Not everybody yeah. ends up with the same adjustments. Uh oh, looks like we got a Walker Evan coming apart. Here's your tender string. Feel that? Squeeze it with your fingers. Oh, yeah. So it's going to get true dual rates and a divide and crossovers? Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. Making a true off-road true off road shot. It's going to run good. Wear a bandana seal. It's just Wear shocking. Okay. It's just shocking. You have 100 miles on it and this seal's already bad. Really? Yep. They come back from I think you, sometimes. Yeah? Yeah. I think... Well, that nitrogen in the, in the wrong spot. Well, and Ned drove it, so... I probably did it. <laughs> There's a good chance I did that. <laughs> and maybe when I smashed the suspension flat to the frame of the car... <laughs> it could have done that, too. <laughs> Travis, are you grabbing that? Yeah. Thank you. So this is Greg, MTS Off-Road. Hey, folks. And he knows... Okay, look. I put 100 miles on that Razor did in Coos Bay. Did you? All by myself. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I didn't crash it or anything. That's how'd you like Tuesday? I loved it. Scenery's awesome. Oh my god, it's like the only place you could be riding and there's like dunes in trees and there's ducks. Yeah, it's and awesome. A lake. Our, one of our favorite from a scenic standpoint, oh, definitely yeah. one of our favorite. That's what I said. Like, okay, so it might not have the big, like yeah. no bowls, yeah. not a lot of jumping or big. Of course you can run bull run and down the coast and get some yeah. down and through the pines. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. But it's not glamorous, it's a different beast, but it was so beautiful that I, I fell in love. But the people there are great, and they're passionate about what they have. They oh my God. Their... And you know what, California, let's take a lesson from Oregon, because you know what happened there? They had a situation too, because again, any coastal community is gonna face some of the same issues regarding wildlife and preservation. Conservation, you know what they did? They actually did meet in the middle and work together. So now we have a bunch of duners and people that don't dune who just love the environment and the area and they want to keep it the Amen. way it's supposed to be and they work together so pismo yes pismo take a lesson from take that. note like it's yeah. the way it's supposed to be so That's hopefully right. that works out people. but you guys on to better brighter things like look at this day one and it has been busy i think seven or eight cars today oh my goodness so which is a lot and it's hot and it's hot already and it went from freezing last night to uh yeah, the guys were whining last night said it yeah. got too cold i know i heard all about it from ned yeah. this morning i'm like why don't you just wrap yourself in your hair yeah <laughs> last week i couldn't keep the ac on enough okay. this week i had to turn the heater on yeah, it was. oh god yeah. the, the this is called first world problems <laughs> what do i do yeah. yeah all right well i'm excited to see what you guys do with the razor so what? So come and look at this real quick. Okay. You're going to be amazed by Wait. the way this car rides. Oh, show me. Yeah, look. Oh my god. All right, look at that. What are you talking that's about? That's real deal. Those are I, real springs. That's called what your car should always look like. Remember I was on like, oh, that's yeah. adorable. No more toy springs. So, okay, so we just went for a quick little run uh, in the Razor and it feels really good. Yeah, we, we'll big know. improvement. Yeah. Big improvement. We'll know tomorrow more when uh, we can actually get out and... When we drive. When I drive is what he's trying to say. 
because I don't know the real test. I'm the one in this family that drives them. Well, what we want to be able to do is take the cameras out and recreate what we did earlier today before it was shown. Yeah. It's setting up at a decent ride height now where it should be. Um, it's resprung, it's revalved. It should be yeah, good. I, I know. So far, so good. It feels good. Yeah, and, and you were way backed yeah. off on the compression, and I purposely yeah. smashed into some stuff over there that would have bottomed out, and it yeah. did not. I, yeah. And earlier today, I definitely hurt my back when I had it at zero yeah, well, compression. I step so right now, you're at zero in the front, and uh, I think you're uh, three in the rear. All right. All right, Trevor. So we got a lot of room to oh. go evil can evil on Hi. that thing. Yeah. No. Okay, so. Cars tuned up, shock tune, MTS shocks, uh, and we're getting ready to go out and text this thing out. Uh, we kind of stopped recording last night. I don't know where we left off. We just, you know, you probably just saw that. But whatever, uh, we're gonna check it out. We ran out of daylight yesterday. It's hard to get much video of something like, to, like this at night. So we're gonna go do this thing right now. All right, so what's going on here? Um, we just did some runs out here. We just got our shocks tuned by the MTS off-road guys, our, our favorites. Yeah. And um, so we're out here doing test and tune in this notoriously whooped out section right here off of 78. So what's happening is the MTS dialed this thing in. We got these shocks. Real shocks instead of toy shocks. I mean springs. Real springs instead of toy springs. And some crossover, so they're truly... Uh, you got an Eibach dual rate on this thing. We revalved it and really paid attention to the what you guys were asking for and really tailor fit this to your guys' needs. Yeah. That's what we do here at MTS. Yep, we do. Yeah. So what, what were the results, young lady? You were out just blazing uh, whoops and whatnot. I was. It, the results of that, I give it, well, I would give five thumbs up. I only have two, so I'm going to do two. All right, so we've been testing We've now. been testing, you and now I wanted to take a ride because I'm going to be driving this. And hopefully we got it on that camera and I had it turned on. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, but so I did a little run through here. We had, um, we just now kind of backed off the compression settings in the rear a little bit just so I can, uh, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. We're fine tuning. Yeah. Yeah. We're really putting this to the test right now because this section, yesterday I would have been uh, either so stiff that I would have been bucking and kind of getting out of shape, or I would have been so would have been so soft that I would have been bottoming out and hurting myself. So. Right now, I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I know I need some other shots. I can hear it hit in the top, so that's one thing. I got 100 miles on this car in Coos Bay. Um, not glamorous, but still, right? So um, the difference is it's a different car. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of seat time in it yesterday and today, and it's a total, totally different ball game. So, 
Like, Bas it feels like I want you to hurry up with this video so I can drive this one. <laughs> right. So basically what happened for me is when I drove it, uh, I went out, it was at zero compression. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a quarter of a mile into the run, I was done. I had to hurt my back because I pushed the throttle and I hit bumps. So I had to crank up the compression all the way. So we had already maxed out what the shocks had to give in 160 miles or 120 miles. So cranked them up, went out road. It, it did it. It handled pretty good. It didn't bottom out uh, on what we did yesterday. But the problem is having the shocks cranked all the way up full compression. It didn't, uh, you know, started bucking. The rear end was bucking. Uh, it just, it just didn't, you know, it just wasn't there. Controllability was not there. Controllability was not there. Um, it was ass end tried to come around to meet the front end stuff like that. So then, we don't want that. yeah, we don't want that. So Ned and Russ and Greg and Jeep and all the guys did their thing and it's riding right now it feels really good i i came through here now granted it doesn't have quite as much poop as the can am but i came through here this section right here wide open pinned to the floor didn't have to back out you could leave it and just keep going really I do. yeah, yeah. I did that same thing. yeah you, did. you did and you, you killed got some it. good clips you killed it and we got some good clips and they're up right here Better. all right okay. all right so anyway thanks for watching subscribing and all that cool stuff uh, thanks to guys like M, M, uh, the guys at MTS and, and all of our people rugged and the different people we work with. This has been awesome, uh, an awesome journey so far. But you know, we're gonna do. We're gonna hit. Uh, we did some olds. Uh, we're gonna do some more olds. So there's gonna be a video of that in here. So I'm pretty excited to see how this car performs after the tuning. Yeah. There's no bottom out control. This is just base model. Um, and it doesn't feel like that anymore. Yeah, this is our average Joe build. We didn't spend we didn't spend the extra twelve grand for the uh, with all the dynamics, but we didn't need all the speakers and stuff and all the stuff. You know what I mean? We just needed some badass uh, shock tuning. So we we that's that's where these boys come into play. Done deal. All right. Good deal. Yeah. So. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you have, if you haven't, you should do it. You're here. Just click the button. Hit the bell so you can be notified. There's gonna be lots more videos coming. I'm gonna be driving nonstop basically. So uh, get ready for that. Um, I don't know. Thank you guys. MTS Off Road again. Always Welcome. awesome. Rugged radios. Everybody, Glamis, we're here. If you don't like it, just like button two times. One works in multiples of two. If you do like it, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Links below. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Bye.